On this worksheet tab, we're going to investigate how changing the annual sales growth and inflation rate will impact our pro forma. And also, we're going to build a data table to perform some sensitivity analysis. We've got a data table set up right now that examines how changes in the bid price will impact our project's net present value and internal rate of return. Before we go ahead and build our data tables, though, let's alter and change our pro forma to reflect the potential for an increase in annual sales growth and alternative inflation rates. Let's go ahead and begin by changing our formula for the units. Instead of linking directly to the units in cell B4, we're going to link to prior year sales times the quantity 1 plus our sales growth rate of 5%, which is in cell F7. We're going to want to anchor that and close parenthesis. Um, our bid price will be the prior year's bid price times the quantity 1 plus the inflation rate. And again, we're going to want to anchor that with dollar signs, make that an absolute cell reference. Close parentheses, hit enter. Our variable production cost. Right now we have it linked to the units that we're selling in year two and the $8.50 per unit cost. But in this case, we're going to have to consider the fact that our unit cost will be increasing over time. So let's multiply that by the quantity 1 plus the annual inflation rate, and then we're going to anchor that with dollar signs, to the, in this case, in period number two, we will want that to have compounded for one period. So let's go ahead and put a parenthesis and link that to year two minus one. We're going to use relative cell references there because when we copy that over um, to column E, we're going to want to pick up year three minus one, which would be a two-year compounding period, and go ahead and hit enter. Our fixed production cost, even though they're fixed, they are subject to annual increases in inflation. So let's just link that to the prior year times the quantity, one plus the 3% inflation rate with an absolute cell reference, close parenthesis. Now we can go ahead and copy those cells from year two all the way over to year five. Now our pro forma will change when we pick alternative levels for sales growth and alternative inflation rates. Let's go ahead and look at our data table. Again, right now our data table reflects a $13 uh, per unit bid price and that's right there, $13 per unit bid price. And we can see at that $13 per unit bid price, we have a net present value of $497,000 for our project and a 36% internal rate of return. And those agree with the uh, amounts reflected in our pro forma. As our bid price goes down, the net present value decreases. And as the bid price goes up, our net present value in IRR increase. So a data table allows us to perform sensitivity analysis one variable at a time. Let's go ahead and build data tables for the number of units, uh, sales growth, and the inflation rate. The first thing we want at the top of our data table is a link to whatever particular items we're interested in. In this case, we're interested in observing how net present value changes and how our internal rate of return changes. And we want to know how those change when our number of units ranges from anywhere from 100,000 per year up to 200,000 per year. So that's going to go into the column on the left-hand side of our table. To build our table, then, we highlight the cells that include both this top row and the column on the left. Then we go up to our menu bar up top, select data, what if, and then tables for data tables. Our inputs are in the form of a column, so we're going to want to come down to the column input cells, and we're going to want to input these numbers, 100,000 up to 200,000, into cell B4. That's where we have units on our pro forma. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And we can see how our net present value and our internal rate of return change, giving various levels of unit sales. Right now our pro forma reflects uh, unit sales of 150,000 units per year and you can see our IRR and our net present value 
tie into our pro forma. As units go up, our net present value and IRR increase. As unit sales go down, our net present value and IRR decrease. So again, let's do it for sales growth. First, let's link to our net present value and our internal rate of return sales. sales. Then we highlight the top row and the left hand column. We go up to data, what if, data table, and again, our inputs are in a column, and we want to put the sales growth into cell F7. Hit OK, and we've produced our data table. Inflation rate, again, equals, let's link to the net present value cell, and let's link to the internal rate of return cell. Highlight the top row, the left hand column, what if, data table, our inputs are in a column, and we want to insert those into cell F8, which is where our inflation rate is, and we can hit OK. Our static analysis allows us to change a single input variable at a time and observe how it will impact our pro forma. We might, however, be interested in knowing how changing both the bid price, the number of units sold, the sales growth, and changing inflation all at the same time, in other words, different combinations of these items would impact our pro forma. To do that, we're going to want to perform and use Excel's Scenario Manager.